Do you know we all have different feelings? Yes, like a rainbow with many colors, each of us experiences a spectrum of emotions. Each emotion is unique and tells a special story about us. Let's dive into the fascinating world of feelings. Imagine a little girl named Zoe. She wakes up one morning feeling extremely happy. You know why? Because it's her birthday. She's beaming with joy. Her smile is as bright as the sun. That's the feeling of joy. A sensation as delightful as biting into your favorite ice cream on a hot summer day. But then, Zoe remembers that her best friend moved away and won't be at her party. Suddenly, she feels sad. Her smile fades, and she feels a heavy feeling in her heart. That's the feeling of sadness, like when you lose your favorite toy and can't find it anywhere. Now imagine a boy named Max. He's building a tower of blocks, but his little brother knocks it over. Max feels his cheeks getting hot, his heart pounding. That's the feeling of anger, like a roaring lion inside you. But then Max's brother surprises him by helping him rebuild the tower. Mm. Max feels surprised and happy. His heart feels light, and his eyes sparkle. That's the feeling of surprise, like finding a hidden treasure in your backyard. And then there's the feeling of being silly. Imagine Zoe and Max making funny faces and laughing until their bellies hurt. That's the feeling of silliness, like a giggling hyena or a playful puppy. Our bodies and faces often show what we're feeling inside. When you're happy, you might smile and laugh. When you're sad, you might frown or cry. When you're angry, you might cross your arms or stomp your feet. When you're surprised, your eyes might get wide. And when you're feeling silly, you might stick out your tongue and make goofy sounds. So, remember it's perfectly okay to feel different emotions. They're a part of who we are. Like colors on a palette, they paint the unique picture of our lives. In today's journey, we've learned about different feelings and how they can be expressed. We've learned that it's okay to feel happy, sad, angry, surprised, or even silly. So remember, every feeling you have is important and tells a unique story about you. Embrace your feelings, for they make you who you are. As we conclude our exploration through the domain of emotions, let's take a moment to ponder over what we've unearthed. We're about to present a series of faces, each portraying a distinct emotion. Initially, we have a face beaming with joy. Observe the gleaming eyes, the wide smile and the eased features. Those are undeniable indications of happiness. Next, we transition to a face expressing sorrow. Take note of the drooping mouth, the knitted brows and the watery eyes. You can almost feel the melancholy. We showcase a face exemplifying anger. Spot the squinted eyes, the tightened mouth and the overall rigidity. It's quite the contrast from the tranquil joy we noted earlier. Coming up next, surprise. The eyes are wide, the mouth is open in amazement, and the eyebrows are lifted. It's an immediate, instinctual reaction to an unexpected event. Lastly, silliness. The face is contorted into a goofy grin, the eyes are squinted, and the tongue is protruding. It's an expression that invariably incites a smile. These are just a handful of examples of faces reflect our emotions. Bear in mind, emotions are an integral aspect of us, and expressing them is entirely normal. We will now proceed seamlessly to the end of the video.